Moshe, the humble servant and warrior of God. Now it came to pass in those days, when Moshe was grown, that he went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens. And he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his brethren. So he looked this way and that way. And when he saw no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Now the man Moshe was very humble, more than all men who were on the face of the earth. Yahushua, the humble servant and warrior of God. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Who is this who comes from Edom, with dyed garments, from Bozrah, this one who is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength? I who speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Why is your apparel red, and your garments like one who treads the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. For I have trodden them in my anger, and trampled them in my fury. Their blood is sprinkled upon my garments, and I have stained all my robes. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed has come. I looked, but there was no one to help, and I wondered that there was no one to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation for me, and my own fury, it sustained me. Messiah teaches civility, but by no means teaches passivity. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. To turn one's cheek is an ancient Israelite idiom, which really means, do your best to not start a quarrel. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. And he said to them, when I sent you without money bag, knapsack, and sandals, did you lack anything? So they said, Nothing. Then he said to them, But now, he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. If Messiah really taught against self-defense, he would not have told his disciples to buy swords, nor would he have allowed them to carry swords. Ichi. お前の側にいる小吉という男を私と<笑> とんでもない。私は会ったことがありません。で、旦那、この正気さえどんなようがあるんです。それを聞かなくちゃご返事もできませんね。その男を切るのだ。え。だ、旦那
気でも狂ったんですがお公儀お役目で斬るのだ取り越しを斬ってお前に闇討ちと謳われたのもその一つまた権蔵はお前が斬ってくれて手数が省けたこう言ったらわしの立場が少しは察しがつくだろう権蔵とあの役人が悪党なのは分かりますが何もこの人の罪はあるしませんただ脅かされてたとえ脅かされたとはいえそのものはおかみご近世の焼き物作りに下絵を描いたのその天文を持ったことが小吉の不運だ分かりませんね何も絵を描いたぐらいで物と言わず人と言わず証拠となるものは一切断ち切って騒ぎを防ぐのがわしの役目だ赤塚の旦那だこの正吉は旦那もご存知の通りあの子の手で親でございますあらもうやっと巡り合ってこれから親子二人幸せになろうってところでございますどうぞ一つ見逃してやっておくんなしだお慈悲でございます役員の上に慈悲はかけられんどうしても渡さねば一お前も斬るぞどうか正吉さんを見逃してあげてくださいこの子のためにもお願いでございます邪魔だてすれば女子供とて容赦はせん待ってください一さん私は覚悟を決めましたどうか良太とおみつさんのことを頼みます初期茶は渡さねえ一侍なんてな勝手なもんだてめえの役目さえ果たせりゃ人はどうなってもいいんですかいこやつ正吉さんはどうあっても渡せねえ許さんぞ良太に見せないでおくんなさいよ
一，我是能把他打。<音>